got 43 in the first innings and in the second chasing 438 yeah gavaskar and uh, chetan chauhan got off to a brilliant Rob start gavaskar played that incredible 221 who can forget it yeah. at what stage did you believe that hang on we can get these runs you know so you won't believe it when we were 7 to 6 for no loss in the first uh, on the first day chasing 400 and odd we had not even scored more than 250 runs till then in any of the innings so um, and sunil was my room partner and it was great to have him as my room partner and he said look the wicket is so good i think we can chase this runs and we all looked at him and said we must be joking and uh, he said tomorrow is a day i can get a double 100 He said that. Uh, yeah, he was quite uh, adamant about it. He doesn't remember that, but then as a room partner, I will remember it more than him. The next day, he played this fabulous inning. I think we had the the match totally sealed. It was it was our match uh, totally at at tea time. Um, we did make a few tactical errors, uh, sending a couple day earlier to bat and trying to finish the match earlier, but. Uh, I think at that stage uh, the umpiring was uh, not of the top standard and uh, there was a lot of time wastage by Brayley uh, he had hardly bowled in the first uh, what first 45 minutes of one hour after tea he bowled about 4 5 overs making his bowlers travel from third man to third man so there were no restrictions on that at that time and uh, you didn't have this uh, you had this 20 overs but it was not like 90 overs in the day so you could slow down the game or progressively and that's what he did uh, uh, people did use all the tactics in those days but i think umpiring was the main cause of our uh, not making those runs a lot of the decisions you say went against went against us mine i got hit on my thigh pad and i was given lbw it was uh, it was it was horrifying at that time i mean i was when you walk back you realize and and it looked like you're never going to get it because the empires were not going to let you get it that's why uh, it's so great now that uh, international empires are there uh, you have uh, empires from all over the world so there's no bias towards any country you know there is that was one of the areas um, that was a little concerning uh, at the end of the day but then you know coming back to that particular game again when wickets were falling obviously there would have been panic in the dressing room Yeah, there was a panic. I think that's where Venkat uh, panicked a little bit more than uh, usual. What happened? We were we had nearly about five of us all padded up to bat, so none of us knew who was going next because um, you know it was like should we send Kapil Dev there to hit the ball out of the ground or should Vishwanath go? And we all thought Vishwanath should go because he was our best batsman at that time, and somehow he didn't go even though he was the vice captain. And, and things went. I I had won my pad from the very beginning. I didn't know when I was going, and I, suddenly then I went at the end. Uh, Yashpal also was given a bad decision where Yashpal was concerned. Where Vishy was concerned, it was a bump catch in covers, and he was given caught. You know, all these decisions did make a, a lot of. But it was an exciting match. It was good in those days. Uh, these are the things which uh, you remember and you think about it. But what I can just dream about is uh, Gavaskar's 221. No, pick, it pick. was uh, innings. Um, I mean, it just to be there was it was a dream.